Hey everyone, if you're anything like me, you've probably wondered what you want to pack when you're going away. Well, I'm headed off on safari for two weeks, so I thought I'd show you a little bit about what I'm going to bring. So one thing about safari is that they want you to bring a soft-sided bag. So mine's probably not the best color, being really bright, but that's what I had, so that's what I'm bringing. One of the things that they say is that when you go on safari, they don't really want you to be in bright colors. It tends to scare animals away. It's not a color that they're used to in the wild, so it usually means danger. So lots of neutral colors. It's winter where I'm headed, so I brought a couple of long sleeve shirts to wear underneath and in the morning. Long pants that can be rolled up. T-shirts to go over for the days when it gets warmer, as well as a jacket to go over top and a scarf just in case I need it. I've also brought a pair of sandals as well as a nice pair of walking shoes with lots of socks. When I'm traveling, I don't like to bring my full-size containers. They take up a lot of space and often have lots of empty room in them. So instead, I put a little bit into a small container that I can then take with me. So you can see from my toiletries that I don't bring very much with me when I travel. I got a hair clip that I'll probably wear to save space, things for my nails, my face, contacts, just in case I lose the ones that I'll be wearing. My makeup brushes do double duty. I've got a lipstick and a chapstick, a makeup palette that brings various colors, as well as a mascara. So everything's going to fit into a small bag that I can put at the front of my duffel bag, and then I know where it is all the time. For this trip, I want to get some long distance photos, so I brought in a zoom lens. I brought an external battery. I've got my GoPro. I've got lots of SD cards, so I have lots of room to put different photos and everything else. I've got my different charging ports for the walls in the different places that I'll be. And for this trip, I've bought myself a tiny little drone that I hope will take some great videos while I'm there. The last thing you might want to pack is any miscellaneous items. My travel document holder is made especially to block against credit card scanners that are used in populated areas. I have a water bottle and a flashlight. I've brought my sunglasses and a repair kit. I have a first aid kit and insect repellent. The other thing that I'm packing that you don't see here is malaria prophylactics. If you're a travel blogger, business cards are a great way to direct traffic to your site. Have a few of these made up and you can leave them wherever you go. Well, those were some of my travel tips and tricks. I hope they help you out and I hope you stay tuned for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching!